Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Um, very, very interesting. And, and Mr. Maliba, how does one come to a certain conclusion that it is the NDC side that is creating this rancor when you know that specifically the recall over the last two, yesterday being the last, after the last adjournment, that side of the house had been in the chamber. And as a result of a lack of quorum, the speaker had done nothing but otherwise. And they are to be blamed. The speaker is damn right when he said that the constitution is supreme. Because the Supreme Court itself is under this constitution. And the Supreme Court cannot do anything outside this constitution. So the speaker was right when he said that he believes in the supremacy of the constitution and not the Supreme Court. So if the speaker feels that the Supreme Court is colluding with the government of the day to undermine parliament, he has every right to say it. He has that right? Every right to say it. Why? Because he's the leader of parliament, and if somebody is chipping away the building blocks of democracy, and you know that when they say a country is democratic, it's because there's a parliament, and not because there's judiciary, and not because there's an executive. It is because there's parliament. And if that blocks, those blocks are being chipped away, he has every right to protect it. But yesterday, eh? Yesterday, Afonio Markin exhibited immaturity. Immaturity? And if you have an immature leader... A leader of the house? And if you have a, an immature leader, this is what you have. Your side was the one that called for parliament to reconvene, isn't it? As we know. Ah. The least you could have done was just to enter the chamber and even be standing. If you were even going to be hanging one leg up and one leg down. That's erroneous. You get my point? The least you could do was to enter the chamber. Now, you refuse to enter the chamber. And you call the media, press men and women, and was hailing uh, 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 invectives on the speaker. Why didn't you enter the chamber and raise those concerns that you were raising with the media? He should enter the chamber as what? Majority leader. Mister, no, 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 no. When you when you were speaking, no, no, no. Alaji, I know you are back from Mecca with a lot of him, but this strategy will not help. Make happy, I don't go happy. Why don't you enter the chamber and raise those issues, even if you are going to be standing? I hear them say that Mr. Speaker should announce to the whole world that he's gone to court, the court has refused his application, and that now they are the majority. Who does that? He's a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. He's also a lawyer. An applicant goes to court, mm -hmm. gets a stay, mm -hmm. and you say the respondent who's Actions have been stayed by the court. Should not come and tell the whole world that uh, uh, my, my actions have been stayed. Who, who does that? Who does that? It is for the applicant who won the case to assert his right as per the court ruling. So they should have been in the chamber. They should be in the chamber and say that. And, and, and then the, 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 the ruling of the last to be So reversed. Mr. Speaker, Afanyo Maki will now be speaking this way. Mr. Speaker, as we are all aware... You try to overturn the ruling of the uh, court. The court has reaffirmed its position. We are in the man majority, but our colleagues have taken our side. That is what a matured. The way I say you make it look simple. Oh, that's, that's court. I've been doing this every day. So, so that's what should have been done, ideally. It's just like court. It's just like going to court. My Lord, you just say that. And you would have seen the number of Ghanaians who will be on your side. You don't behave immaturely. Particularly when you are the one who invited the parliament to sit. In any case, were they interested in doing government business? Why not? Because we were told. Because if you listen to Katie Hammond, uh -huh. Katie Hammond specifically tells the media, and that was yesterday, that per the ruling in the courts the last time by the Ch Chief Justice-led panel,
it clearly shows that the speaker should have taken cognizance of that ruling and so in reconvening parliament that scenario should have been acknowledged whereby the there should have been the atmosphere the presence where the majority will be where they are and not paint the picture that you're painting that we should have and the proceedings being reversed i am shocked at him because i'm sure as a parliamentarian he should have been telling the media which order of the parliament books order what order say that so i should have been i should have been hearing him as old as, as it is, because he always insults the young men, as old as it is, and with his gray hair, he should have been telling the media, order 15, order 35, says that oh. when the speaker goes to court and he's, he loses, he should come back and say this. What kind of behavior is that? Who tells him that? Look. Um, I hear, I hear the MPP say that and that's from uh, 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 Hammon. That, oh, they will cite the speaker. Katie Hammon. Katie Hammon. That they will cite the speaker. For contempt. For contempt. In eh? mm. <laughs> Why will you cite somebody for contempt? There are two ways, or two reasons. One, because there was an order made by the court and the person disregarded it. That's one. Two, or the person has said something or written something or has misconducted himself in such a way as to bring the image of the court into disrepute. Which of this has the speaker done? Which of this has the speaker done? Yes, sir. Which of this has the speaker done? The speaker, let's assume, I'm just going to assume because the speaker said he didn't even do it. Let's even assume, without admitting, that the speaker, the speaker, the speaker has ruled that the four should vacate their seats. The court said that that should stay what does that mean what it means is that the status quo reverts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. has any of the four people walked into parliament and the speaker said go away i don't get this people you see let me tell you, this country you break the table off. i'll buy one for you <laughs> see <laughs> this country and its institutions do not belong to the, uh, only the MPP. How glad do you make We have over the years been so emasculated to the extent that the MPP wants to think that this country and its institutions belong to them. How? You were sitting in your offices. Mr. Speaker should come and pull your hands and come and sit in the chamber. Was there time to meet or there was no time? Can you imagine MPs Fighting over seats. Can you imagine MPs, grown-ups, fighting over seats? <laughs> if you go back home this evening and you ask your, your son whether he's gone to school, and he said, I go to school, but when I got there, another boy was sitting on my table, your chair, so I came back home. Now slap him. <laughs> that is the kind of what it is government business you want to conduct. You listed things like three HSS, and you have been using three HSS to be scaring Ghanaians. What would Nkrumah say? Who gave us independence? Then we should be voting for the CPP. You have to say every year, every year, free HSS, free HSS. Nkrumah, who brought independence to this country? We should have been voting for his party. You hate free HSS. Your free HSS is it the only thing you that Ghanaians will eat? You hate free HSS. You have free HSS to do business in Parliament. You didn't come to business. It's not that we even have the budget to pass. Whatever it is. And but do you, and they, I, and they, stop talking. Don't and, stop doing that. Uh, and they blame the speaker. Look, do you know that yesterday they didn't please, even. Please conclude for I'll me. conclude. Do you know that yesterday they, they didn't even prepare the business of the day? So even if they had come, there was no business of the day. Do you know that? Did you, did you hear, Mr. Speaker? He said that. There was no business of the day. Are these serious people? Are these. MPs, MPs, MPP MPs, serious people who want business to be conducted in Parliament, you should come prepared. You didn't come prepared. And you are there now saying that it's the NDC MP. Do you know that? Do you know that? Eh? Eh? Unofficially, NDC people are the majority in Parliament. Unofficially. They don't come to Parliament. Even before this, before this matter came out, the four MPs, they don't even come to Parliament. It's the MPP, NDC MPs who help them to pass their things. We are number them. 
We outnumber them. Because what, they are on, on campaign? Yes, some of them are annoying. They, they are fronting. But the NDC too are campaigning. I'm saying that our numbers will come more than them. <laughs> you are not understanding. Who is saying that nobody's campaigning? I'm saying that we, we, we populate. We populate the place. So even if we even decide, and if we want to cripple them, we can decide not also to come to power. And you can't pass anything. You should, you should negotiate. Tell you that your boy after only happened oh, to stop. He's not your boy. He's a... I'm older than him. Yeah, I'm older than him. I'm I telling him. him. I'm older than him. I think I'm, I'm, I'm almost ten years older than him. I'm his senior too. But he's and I'm saying that he's leading them. He's leading them. And I'm saying that you should tell him I to tell ensure him. that there is negotiation, there is some rapprochement, and not to be throwing tantrums.